starting with the plant life, life was generated, but that was the lowest life, the life with the lowest consciousness, unable to walk, unable to talk, and unable to understand God. God may speak to a lily a thousand times, but the lily cannot respond to him because the life of a lily is too low. Although life was present, it needed to grow. The fourth day lights were needed for the growth of life. The first day light was for generating life. The fourth day lights were for the growth of life. On the fourth day, the solid lights were prepared. No other work was done. Many of you young people have received the first day light, but I doubt very much whether you have entered into the fourth day lights. The fourth day lights are different from the first day light. The first day light was indefinite. The fourth day lights are definite. Now we need to see what the sun, moon, and stars prefigure in typology. The sun, Christ, and the saints. The sun indicates Christ and also the saints who will shine as the sun in the kingdom. Malachi chapter 4 verse 2 says that Christ is the sun of righteousness. In his wings that is his shining, there is the healing of death. Without his shining, there is death. When his shining appears, death is healed. Luke chapter 1 verse 78 to 79 says that the birth of Christ was the real sunrise for humanity. Matthew chapter 4 verse 16 tells us that when Christ came to the Sea of Galilee, he appeared as a great light. The people who sat in darkness saw a great light. Light shone upon those who were sitting in the region as shadow of death. That light was Jesus. Matthew chapter 13 verse 14. 3a tells us that the overcoming saints will shine as a sun in the future kingdom. Although we may be a star today, it is too early for us to shine as the sun. For that, we must wait until the day of restoration. In the kingdom, many saints will shine as the sun. Today, Christ is the sun. Tomorrow, the overcoming saints also will be the sun. The moon, the church. The moon is the church in Joseph's dream. His father was likened to the sun, his mother to the moon, and his brothers to the stars. The church is the bride, the wife of Christ. Therefore, the moon is a figure of the church. Revelation chapter 1 verse 20 tells us that the local churches are lampstands. Lamps are needed in the night time, not in the daytime. Revelation chapter 1 verse 20 proves strongly that the church age is not the daytime but the night time. As a lampstand, the church shines in the night. However, the lampstand itself does not shine, the lamp does. The seven lamps that ends are in Revelation chapter 1, and the seven lamps are in chapter 4. The seven lamps are the seven spirits. The church is the lampstand, and the spirit is the lamp held by the stand. If the church lacks the spirit, the church is a lampstand without light. It is then a stumbling block. But the lampstand with the shining lamp is wonderful. We may have the church as a lampstand, but what about the lamp? We need the lamp. Some may say, I have the Holy Spirit as the lamp. I don't care about the lampstand. If you say this, you are wrong, for the lamp is on the lampstand. If today, during the church age, you are going to have the light of the seven spirits, you must have the churches. The seven lamps are on the seven lampstands.